Barakatai Yahweh Shai. Barakatai Yahweh, Barakatai Yahweh, Wa Yahweh Shai. Shalom. This is Raka here on uh, GMS Push On. Anyways, man, um, I'm going to get right to the point. I always try to get right to the point, but sometimes you got things you got to get out. Okay, I'm going to entitle this video, man. This is going to be another short impromptu, like always. The Lord is not looking for a big crowd, man. The Most High, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, he's not looking for a big crowd of people. That's why Yahweh Shai said what? What did Yahweh Shai say, man? He said, broad is the way that leadeth to destruction, and many there be that find that. But narrow is the path that leadeth unto life, and few there be that find that. And that's why Yahweh Shai talked about, you must walk ye through the straight gate. What's the straight gate? The straight gate is a position of difficulty, man. Okay, that's the straight gate. It's a position of difficulty. You're going to go through trials and tribulations. That's what this truth is all about. That's why Yahweh Shai said what he said, man. Yahweh Shai also said, Surely you must drink of the cup. If any man will not bear his cross and follow me, surely he cannot be my disciple. So we're going to have to catch hell. We're going to have to go through tribulation, perils, and hell. Shit, you may have to even lay down your life for this truth if it comes down to that. Or face being imprisoned if it comes down to that, man. But that's the that's the path of Yahweh Shai. That is the uh, the straight gate, and that's why a lot of people can't deal with the straight gate. That's why you've had a lot of guys fall off. And when I say fall off, I'm not talking about because you're not a part of a particular group. And I'm gonna keep saying it, not because you're not a part of GMS or not because whatever particular group you might be in, whether you in IUIC, whether you in GOCC or whatever particular Israelite group that you may be in, just like back in One West. Because back in, well, hold on, we was a part of One West, right? We was in One West. And One West, at one point in the early 90s, man, to the mid-90s, by the late night, it was a big, the school had grew. We had camps in the other states back then. We had California camp, Boston camp, Florida, Arizona, brothers all over, right? Yeah, there was guys in Chicago, the old guys from the One West era. So it was a big, the school, the the, uh, the the Israeli school was big, and that grew big, right? So that was going on. But then what happened? The Most High broke all that up, man. Or even before the Most High broke it all up, even before the Lord broke it up, okay, you had brothers that left the school. Certain guys fell off and just completely went back into the world, into obscurity, into the world, and didn't even think about Israel no more. They just became regular Negroes or Puerto Ricans or whatever they was, but then certain brothers left the school, but they kept teaching and started their own thing. Now, we did that. We left One West, right? So did that mean we wasn't right no more or, or, or that we wasn't, we were still serving the Lord, okay? We left One West, why? Because of the things that was going on that was wicked, and we joined the House of David, then the House of David, shit, wicked shit was going on there, so we left there, and we still kept teaching, and the Lord blessed us and, 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 and with fruit. And, and we still, brothers are still going on to this day. So that, that cuts that thing about, oh, well, if you're not down, because that's what them guys say about us. Them comfy guys or and them hoppies are on them. So you guys left, y'all left the school, right? But the, 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 because we left the school, that meant we ain't in the truth no more. Yeah, we still in the truth. We still serving the Lord. So the Lord ain't with these big groups and all that stuff, man. He said, I should be unto them as a small sanctuary. Okay, now... 144,000 compared to the rest of Israel, that is a small sanctuary, man, because there's millions of Israelites. But the Lord said, and it said, in the countries which ye are scattered, which we are scattered in countries all over the world, man. Okay, this thing is, we got brothers all over that's following this, this truth. Okay, so it's all about continuing on in the faith, man. And you got to walk this path alone. No other man can walk it for you. You got to walk the path of Yahweh Shai, that straight gate, by yourself and on yourself. Because as the, I'm going to quote the scripture again, the scripture says, Seek ye out your own soul salvation with fear and trembling. Your own soul salvation with fear and trembling, man. Okay? So only you can work on your own salvation between you and Yahweh Bash and Yahweh Shai. The Lord Yahweh and Yahweh Shai have to come and sup with you. Okay? Okay? That's the way it goes. I can't sup. The, the, the Lord ain't going to sup with me for you or him. Okay? You got to serve the Lord on your own. You got to figure this thing out for yourself. All right? Apostle Tahar always said, he said, he have said that in the past. Hey, you got to figure this thing out for yourself, man. And, and that's that's true. That's a, that's a true statement if ever there was. 
You got to all figure, we all got to figure this thing out for ourselves. We got to serve the Lord. Even if it means, like I said, you end up in Alaska or end up in the, in, in the North Pole by yourself teaching. That's what it is. You got to keep the faith, man. That's why it says that, man. Okay? And that's the hardness that the scripture was talking about, enduring the hardness, going through different things. Catching hell with your woman, with Esau, or even with be with other brothers, putting hell on you, or you going through issues with brothers. Because at the end of the day, how about Shem, how Shai, go and work it all out, man. You understand what I'm saying? You got you to fight and strive for your own salvation, man. You got to fight and strive for your own salvation. That's why I always push prayer. Prayer is important, man. Praying to the Lord, man. Ask the Lord. Ask Yahweh and Yahweh Shah to guide you in the right path. And that's what you send up there. Prayer always. The prayers of forgiveness. Ask the Lord not to take that Holy Spirit from you, man. I, I always quote Psalms 51. Send that prayer up every day. Send up the other prayers, man, of the Lord not to take take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Rejoice unto me to restore unto me the joy of thy salvation. Ask the Lord to keep that Holy Spirit on you so no matter what happens, you just teach. Because at the end of the day, that's what it's about. To keep pushing this word so that this goddamn wicked kingdom can be destroyed, man. Which this place is going to be destroyed real soon. Things is picking up, man. It's heating up out here, man. So at the end of the day, that's what it's about. Looking toward the coming of our Lord, Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah. Okay? Them chariots is popping out all over the place. The prophecies are being fulfilled. Things are getting worse out here in these streets. So the heat's turning up. And then that, that new Purge movie, Lord willing, I'm going to go see the movie. That's going to happen. Hey, the Lord going to, the Spirit going to have Esau start rolling on these wicked niggas out here in the street. That's going to happen, man. So we got to stay focused on the truth, man. We got to stay focused on just serving the Lord. All, all the other bullshit, anything else, politics, all the pot, we ain't, we ain't supposed to be involved in all that. Just be involved with the truth. And Yahweh Shah said, the good shepherd care for the flock. So if you're a good shepherd, you're just going to teach the word. Just push the word. Do these videos. Get out there on them and teach the word on the street, on the highways, and the byways. And that's it. And that's all that matters, man. Don't worry about being a part of the crowd or, or, or whatever, man. That's it. So with that, man, I'm going to wrap it up. All right, this is Raka. Uh, Shalom, as I always say to the elect, the enlightened brothers of, of Israel, okay? Shalom.